Power BI is a versatile tool that can help you visualize your data in a number of ways. This report I'm showing you is something I built using data published by the UK Land Registry and shows some basic metrics on things like average property price for a certain area or average price of a specific property type, such as a flat or a terraced house and so on. This video will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how I build this report so that you can build it yourself. First things first, you're going to need to download Power BI Desktop if you don't have it yet. It's a free software from Microsoft and you can download it from powerbi.com. I'll include the link in the description box below. Next, we have to fetch the data that we will use for this report. In this case, we are looking for the UK House Price Index published by the Land Registry in gov.uk website. They publish a monthly version of this report, so you want to be looking for the latest month that was published. In this case for us, it's March, and download the data in CSV format. This download might take a while because this file contains housing data all the way back to 1968. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how you can filter that to make sure that you're only using the months or years you're interested in. In order to use this data we've downloaded, we need to import it into our Power BI report. So you can do this by clicking on Get Data on the Home ribbon, selecting Text or CSV, and hitting Connect. We're telling Power BI that the data we want to connect to is in a text or a CSV format. Select the data you downloaded and hit Open. What it does is then shows you a preview of the data you want to import, automatically converting it into a table format and making other assumptions such as guessing the column types and so forth. Let's hit load and see what happens. In the fields window on the right, you will see that the data was just loaded along with all the columns that are in the CSV data. From here, you can actually start using the visuals and analyze the data that we have. A simple visual would be to look at the average price of properties over time in the UK. To do that, we're going to need a line chart. So under visualization, select line chart. That adds a line chart to our report. Then under fields, tick date and average price. Now what that's going to do is it's going to show you the summarized average price in a simple line chart. Now I can see a couple of things that look off in this visual. For one, the average prices look way off than what I think it's normal. You can see that the average price for 2019 is 1.3 billion, which obviously sounds wrong. What Power BI is doing is it's actually adding up all the averages of each area within the UK instead of getting their total average. So how do we fix this? Well, we're going to select this down icon on the average price and select average. So what that does is it changes the aggregation for that value to getting the total average as opposed to the total sum, which makes more sense. You can already tell from this line graph that the total average house prices have been steadily rising over time, despite the slight decline during 2008 and 2009 during the financial crisis. Let's say we don't really want to look this far back into the data. We're only interested in the past 12 months. We can do that by applying some filters on this date column. So let me show you how you can do that. First, you need to convert this axis into date. Power BI automatically converts this into a date hierarchy for some drill down functionality, but we don't really need that right now. Next, on the filters window under date, we want to change the filter type because we want to just get the last 12 months anchored to whatever is the latest month, in this case, March. This relative filtering type is especially handy when you update the data in the future. When you have a new data for April, it will automatically only get the last 12 months since April. Now you will see that the line chart only shows the last 12 months and gives you a more detailed view of the price fluctuations during that time. All of the Power BI visuals have a set number of formatting options that give you some control over customization over your charts. Maybe you want to change the color scheme to your company's colors or hide and show some details. You can do that by clicking on the format button in the visualizations tab. Let's do a couple of formatting here, shall we? So first update the title to something more meaningful like UK average house prices. I hide the X and Y axis titles because they're pretty redundant. And then I finally change the color of the line, perhaps a darker blue. From here, I would also want to change the visual look of the price to make it look more obvious that it's money by changing its type to uh, British sterling. 
You can do this by clicking on the column under the fields window and then selecting the currency on the column tools window. Next, what we want to show is a card that just shows the latest average property prices in the UK. We can do this by selecting the card visual from the visualizations window and tick the average price. Same as the line chart. What it does is it summarizes the total average prices in the UK, which is not what we want. We can change this by changing the aggregation type to average. We have one more change we need to make in this visual because it currently averages the total house prices across all the months and years. We just want to get the latest month's average price. To do this, drag the date column into the filters on this visual section. Select top N, redrag the date column again, and make sure it's on latest date, click apply filter. This applies a filter to the visual and says to only get the latest month's average. To confirm that you got the right average, you can actually use the line chart over here. If you hover your mouse over the month of March, the latest month we have available, this price should correspond to the number of the card visual. Let's do a couple of visual formatting for this, the same way we did with the line chart. Let's modify the category label to show something more descriptive. Let's also remove the display units and show the whole number, up to the decimal point. Or maybe let's hide the decimal point. Next is we want to be able to filter this price to a specific place. We want to see the total average for the whole of the UK, but we're only interested in specific areas like, say, Camden or Westminster. We can do this by adding a slicer visual to the report and ticking region names. This creates a tick list for the specific areas you want. Now you can select a place in this slicer, say Camden, and the report will show you the average price for that area over time. This feature is called cross-filtering and is really handy especially if you're comparing data with multiple dimensions. I changed this slicer to be a drop-down. It just looks cleaner and gives a lot more space for other visuals. Now we want to be able to see what the average prices are for different property types in case you want to be able to see this. The best way to do this is through a bar chart. Select stacked column chart from the visualizations tab and look for the columns for property prices. These will be detached price, flat price, semi-detached price, terraced price. Same as before, Power BI defaults the aggregation to sum and we want to change this to average instead. For each property type, select average. What this graph now gives you is an average price for each property type in Camden. Because of the cross filtering that was made with the slicer, the bar chart knows to only show the region that is selected. From here, we can start formatting this bar chart. First, we want to modify the visual look of the legends to something a bit more meaningful. Next, we want to add a meaningful title to this bar chart. I prefer to add data labels on my bar charts because it adds a bit more detail than the axis labels. So let's add that and remove the Y axis. Let's also change the data labels to show the full number but hide the decimals and change all the data types to the currency instead. And that's it. So you can use this report to analyze specific areas within the UK. You can use this slicer to select a specific area you want to analyze. Uh, and see the different prices for various property types. You now have a Power BI report that visualizes some basic metrics based on the UK house prices data. If you found this useful, share it around to those who you think may need it and give me a shout on the comments below. Thanks!